In God's name, I must speak with you. Dr. Kuss, in God's name you shall. Tell me first, am I mad? Uh, what? No, 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 please. Do I look insane? Well, not at all. Now, what's happened? Mm. It's the chap at the inn. Uh, oh, the experimenter. Of course, the experimenter. Who else? Well? I visited the stranger this afternoon on the pretext of obtaining a subscription for the nurses' fund. Oh, you did, did you? Yes. The moment I entered, I tried to shake hands with him, but he stuck his hands into his pockets. <laughs> I told him I'd heard he took an interest in scientific things. He said, yes, and he sniffled. He kept on sniffling. He apparently caught a cold. I mean, no wonder he wrapped up like that. But I kept my eyes open charting his room, and bottles, chemicals everywhere, and the smell of evening primrose. Would he contribute? Said he'd consider it. So I asked him, point blank, was he engaged in research? He said he was. A long research? A damnable long research, he said, got quite cross. Just then, a wind came through the window and blew a piece of paper from his desk into the fire, and he rushed over to fetch it. Out came his arm. Oh, pass me the sherry. Oh, it's uh, not really sherry. No, no, never mind. I'll drink it anyway. <clears throat> well, look. There was no arm. No hand. Just an empty sleeve. And Lord, I thought, what a deformity. Got a cork arm, I suppose, and he's taken it off. And then I thought, there's something odd here. What the devil keeps that sleeve open if there's nothing in it? Well, uh, perhaps you were mistaken. I mean, perhaps it was an illusion. An illusion, my eye. Well, uh, it was empty, I tell you. There was the faint light shining through a hole in his sleeve so that I could see right down to the elbow. Good God, I said. He then stared at me with those, those blue goggles of his, and then down at his sleeve. And? He never said a word. He just glared and put his sleeve right back in his pocket. He acted as though nothing had happened. Of course, I'd noticed, you know. How the devil can you move an empty sleeve like that? I said. Empty sleeve? Yes, an empty sleeve. And then very deliberately, he pulled his sleeve out of his pocket, raised it in front of me until it was six inches from my face, and then... Yes? Something pinched my nose. <laughs> you stop it! It's all very well for you to laugh, no. but I tell you, something pinched my nose! Oh, God. And there, there wasn't anything there! <laughs> I was so startled! I slapped his cuff away, and I fled the room for dear life. Please, stop laughing. I'm asking you again, Reverend Punting. Am I insane? Or what? What? <laughs> it's 